Yo, what's up, amigos? I'm Hispanic Nachos, and this is Pikmin 3, and this is the adorable little red Pikmin. Oh, you cute! I love, I just love Pikmin. They're adorable and courageous. It's just, they're the best. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. Oh, oh, what's stuck in your wall? Is that their onion? The little onion stuck in the branch. Ah, what's that stuck in the branch? It's an onion, I just said that, you stupid fuck. Don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I'm gonna be honest, don't really care for the, is there anything I can do? They responded to the whistle. What friendly little guys. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care too much for the, uh, the new onion design. It doesn't look much like an onion no more. It just looks like, I mean, I guess it still kind of does, but, I don't know, it's weird. But, I get it, things evolve, and... The important thing is that the pick them the same. At least, you know, the classic red, white, the red, white, the red, yellow, and blue. Sorry, I got America stuck in my head because I'm so patriotic. America! I was hoping that this was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red ones seem quite pleased now that it's free. Yeah, they'd be so screwed if that was stuck there. You saved an entire species, and my entire species would be free. Hey, they're following you. Ooh, oh, hello. What is it? What's this pile of rubble? Oh, I think the one over there. Come here, Mr. Buddy, help. And so then there's the bridge, and... <gasps> what is that? It's your little Wii U game pad. My cool pad! Thank goodness I found it! I can use it to locate the SS Drake! Drake? I wonder if that's a reference to Nathan Drake from, uh... Half-Blood. No. Uh, what's it called? Uncharted. Couldn't think of me. I mean, you know, because they're, they're explorers. Hey, buddy, don't be slacking. There we go. I love how they automatically know what to do. Oh, my God. There's, like, what, 12, 11 over there, and I only have four pick It's going to take a while. Oh, they automatically, like, they automatically know what they're doing. They go back all on their own. They don't just stop and have to. Oh, this is going to take forever, though. So I guess I can use this time to, uh, to share, you know, some uh, personal... Ugh, excuse me, I have like a hiccup kind of deal. I like how that fits perfectly into place, you know, because physics. Uh, so yeah, um, Pikmin has a special little memory in my heart. Um, I first really, well, I mean, is that really necessary? These like little side pieces? I mean, come on, guys. You could just skip that, and then that's like a whole bunch of less pieces we have to do. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting no topic as always. But Pikmin has a special little uh, place in my heart. Because, uh, oh, this thing done. Come here, buddy. And they are done. Yay! And it naturally falls over. Perfectly in place. Where are you going? Get back here. No. Okay, that's annoying. You know when the, you just keep going back, and once you find out there's nothing left, you just stay there? Stupid Pikmin. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have called you guys too. so cute. Shouldn't call you stupid. That's rude. But, uh, I guess I'm, alright, I'm gonna wait because I know there's something here. And then I'll have some time to talk. Oh, look at that little line! And they follow as I jump. Uh, look at the Wii U gamepad. So yeah, so, I mean, you guys see a much smaller version of what I see, obviously, but at least you guys see something. So, I will read what it says in case you can't see that. Great! It still works! Of course, I expect nothing less from the co co copyite, copyite engineer. So you're an engineer, so why don't you... So I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding on the cotton screen. So this shows up here too, yes. Where's the Drake? I should follow that signal. Yeah, that little Wi-Fi is looking on. <gasps> there it is! I found it! I passed the Blue's Clues test. <gasps> Aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. That looks really far, dude. Maybe the other two crew, 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 crew members are there as well. I best head in that direction. Look, look how far that looks. Um, oh. Well, I can't can I show you. Okay, oh, oh, that's cute. Look at that. Uh, that's awkward. I mean, because, you know, it's off the map, so you, I guess it makes sense that it looks black. It's just, it's weird. So, I mean, look how far this is. You gotta go through here, gotta go, like, through this cave thing. Through the mushrooms, and then we've got another cave, this forest, through a tree stump. And then you're finding it. That's, I wouldn't say that's, I mean, I guess we'll get closer. Alright, so, 
Uh, as you can see over here, we have a box. It says 20. What is this enormous thing? The Drake must be on the other side of it. Yeah, so 20 Pikmin. So luckily we have these. That red thing. Food. No. Food for Pikmin, not you, buddy. So, uh, so yeah, this will take a while. So I can use this time to finally talk about my. Uh, uh, okay, enemies. I believe. I forget what these are called. Oh, I can punch. Eh, eh. Oh my god, he sounds like such a loser when he punches. He's like, eh, me, me, me. Boop, boop. I forget what these are called. They're shrub grubs, I think? And I think they're the female ones. That's what I was finding. The thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah, so they're harmless. So, I mean, you get to fight, I guess the other guys we fought earlier were harmless too, but. Me, 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 me. Da. Ah. So yeah, these are, the male ones will kill Pikmin, which is, I hate them, so they pop out of no one. Well, this one is huge! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where am I Pikmin going to go? So, finally, talking about special little place. Oh, that's cute, cool. If you hold down the camera button, your whistle doesn't move, but you do. You look a little... Okay, that's interesting. Learning new things every day. Look at the little line, so cute! Alright, sorry. So... I first found out about Pikmin through Super Smash Bros. Brawl. They were, well, actually, no, it's technically a lie. I first found out about it because um, I had I had Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, and I had uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. And and because I had those two games, I bought this like huge four-in-one player guide, which contained Luigi's Mansion, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, some some like not a surfing game, but it was like a racing game, but on jet skis or something. I can't remember what it was called, like Wave Ocean, maybe. I don't remember. No, that's the name of a Sonic level. A really bad one, too, because that Sonic is six. But, uh... uh no, I'm just going to fuck those red. I could wait for these guys. I mean, if you if you wait, like, a certain amount of time, in case you don't know, if you're new to Pikmin, if you wait a certain amount of time, these leaf Pikmin will turn into buds when they're in the ground. And after buds come flowers, and you know, like they, they become faster and slightly stronger with each uh, stage. So, like you see the the leaf Pikmin here, which is the weakest stage. You know, they they're having a hard time keeping up with me. Flowers would probably be right up, you know, like right behind me, keeping up. But it takes a while, and I'm impatient. So yeah, I'll pluck like one, because that's a five over there. Oh, okay. Initiate a custom breakfast Pikmin. Oh, gee, no shit. Never would have guessed that. I thought they were perfect. Perfect dot. Per polka dot. God, I can't speak. Ah, I see. This is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. I don't even know what kind of accent that is. Regardless. So that player guide, player guide, player guide had Luigi's Mansion, Melee, the ocean racing game, and Pikmin. Didn't have Pikmin though. Oh, there's more over here. That's awkward. Uh, didn't have Pikmin. Uh, on top of that, there was a trailer for Pikmin in Luigi's Mansion. Uh, so, I mean, like, I, I kind of, it, it looked interesting, but it also looked terrifying. Because, you know, it, like, I read the player's guide and it said the story of how you only have 30 days to survive, how, like, these giant creatures would eat up your little soldiers, and I was like, oh my god, that's terrifying. I'm 10 years old and a bitch. So, I never, never touched it. It looked interesting, though. But uh, I was so curious about it, and when I got older and discovered this beautiful thing called the internet and YouTube, uh, I typed in Pikmin, and what I got was Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of Pikmin 1. And, like, you know, how he went into detail and how he uh, he strategized everything. And I was like, oh, oh poor little guys trying to live to make it. But with the help of two, you guys can. Oh, they're straining. There we go. So I found his Let's Play, and... You know, I thought that was interesting, and then I looked at some of his other videos, and he's become one of my most, I wouldn't say most, uh, I subscribed to him, basically, and, like, he's become one of my favorite YouTubers out there. I always look forward to his vids, and, like, he also inspired me to be, not just play this game, but to start Let's Playing on my own, because, like, it was just so cool, you know, like, he was this guy who, um... You know, I later found out he technically has autism, and he said he was always bullied as a kid, and he had a bit of a rough life, and, like, to see that 
you know, he now has support of like, I don't know how many people. Yeah, it's a lot of people basically. We'll just say. Uh, do I still not have any buds? Ah, let me finish this spot. And so, like, I thought that was amazing because you know when I was younger, I didn't have too many friends, and I still. Uh, I changed that. I've changed that recently. I wouldn't say I have many close friends, but like, I, I certainly have a lot more friends than I did back in middle school. Uh, now that I just graduated high school, you know, going to college and. I'm looking forward to actually, you know, talking to people as, as opposed to what I did for half of my, the early half of my high school career and all of my middle school career. It's like, I would just, I would be that kid that, you know, sat in the corner and didn't really say anything and just did his work. But, you know, now I can hopefully change that and, and kind of, I don't know, like, it's hard to say. I, I guess I guess basically what I'm saying is like seeing I need to do something I know what I need to do I'm stalling I want to grow some buds dog ah, I also want to talk about some touching moments God all right I'm just gonna fuck him because this is taking too long but I, guess, but I guess basically what I'm just saying is seeing how Chugga you know was this this guy who had a rough I don't want to say a rough childhood like you know like oh his childhood was hell he suffered so, so much. But, like, you know, he didn't have many friends growing up, and I could relate. And then to see this guy who, at first, didn't have a lot of friends and now has, you know, like, some million subscribers or whatever, and, you know, people constantly following him, who he now considers his friends. I mean, that just amazed me. Oh. So I had 21, and this one slacker was like, nope, fuck you guys. You only need 20 to move it. What the hell is that? What's that? I just said that. Look at that one guy just chilling over there, slut. Start doing something. It looks like something. Someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. Oh, Pikminology number one. The onion is a nest of the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Huh. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Well, I mean, I guess. So I guess this information was left over by Captain Olimar and Louis. This handy information might come... Oh, this, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the co exploration notes. Okay, installing. It's a really unnecessary sound. That's a really, like, epic installation sound. I wish more computers or game pads had that. I don't, oh, now the laser one comes. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Captain Olimar, the better captain. Could there be other intelligent people? <gasps> is Olimar still on the planet? No, he escaped. But did he come back? Dum dum dum, plot twist! Don't never finish my thought, did I? Um, according to the I know, the drink should be through here. I know, give me a sec. God, so basically, I, I, it amazed me how a guy who was in school and, you know, life in general was just extremely shy and he became extremely famous on the internet and I wanted to do something similar. So, there, long story short, God, took way too long and my scatterbrain, jeez, my pigment are slow, but they teleport now, great. Mushrooms, murder, maim and murder, destroy every sign of Mario, whoa, is a message. But they don't look capable. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks that they just explode. Well, not explode, but like, give up on life. They just disintegrate. Who put this wall here? What sends it into. That's a good question. Where do the fucking walls come from, Pikmin? I mean, this one kind of looks like a sandcastle. But I don't think they can touch the wall. That's cute. So, I mean, so I guess this one was built by humans because this is supposed to be Earth. Surprise, you know. My crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. The other two? I hope the Drake is okay. He's a little wild. Oh, where did Pikmin go? There it is! The SS Drake! Looks like a... It almost looks like an onion itself. The cold hat isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What about the Pikmin? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, did you see his ears wiggle when he heard that? That's cute. 
You look at the game pad. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? If you want me, to, don't tell me to look at the game pad when there's still text on the TV. Like what the hell? Oh, look at this bitch. Ow. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, it's me, but it's me. But we can't. Hang me with us. Do you copy? My God, I just gave him most. I'm sorry, I can't do a female's voice. My voice is deep as poop. My goodness, you went to your sister, right? We made it to the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. She's kind of cute. Not in like... Look. And I'm stuck! <gasps> Uh-oh. Whoa! Sunset came quick. Oh no! We got cut off! I wonder how far away Batani is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Yeah, I, mean, I meant she's cute in like an adorable kind of way. Not like a... Mm, girl, come over here kind of way. What is that stinging sound? Oh, he looks so worried. He's adorable. What's any setting? Which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Uh oh. I should probably get off the planet's surface from them. He's so scared. Look at him. Look at his little whistle. I just I I never realized that until I saw the design for Captain Olimar in uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii U. How do they whistle when they have a space helmet on? It never made sense. I mean, now it makes sense. It just didn't make sense before. So he's escaping off the planet with the Drake. What about Brittany and Captain Charlie? Who I mean, we already kind of saw. Look like he got a little by a monster. He's probably eat dude. But Brittany, she said she's starving, and now it looks like the uh, nocturnal predator is starving as well. This I really like. Most of the supplies we brought with the from the planet. With us from Kopai, we destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Uh. No, no, no. I love that. That's studying tomorrow. I have to find some local food. I think that's so cool. How they found a balance between setting a time limit and giving you as many days as you want. Because I'm sorry. So, because, like, with the first Pikmin, you know, you had, a uh, which we call it? You had the limit of 30 days until your oxygen system failed. With the second Pikmin, you, have a, you had as many days as you wanted. And so, I mean, like, I liked the as many days as you wanted, but it, I felt like it made it too easy. And, like, I ended up just having, like, over 100 days because I would just dig around, like, repro reproducing Pikmin. So, starting tomorrow, I have to play. Oh, I already read that. So I really like that they incorporated like a you have to fight to survive kind of thing. Day one. See how many Pikmin populated throughout the day. Uh, I don't know what half of this means. I mean it says there's 21 red Pikmin, none died today or at sunset. Uh, I don't I get oh I get oh it says I used one food condition. So I have two food, no fruit, and only elk. Ooh, I guess he, I guess he's the youngest because he looks this small. Oh my god, that's terrifying and slightly adorable. We are shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin have been finding SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Britanny and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Oh, save, previous data will be erased. Yeah, I want to save. It's the same place anyway, so I'm not really losing much. There we go. That's our first day. That's pretty much the tutorial mission. I'm guessing after this, we got a time limit on how long, you know, the day is. Because, you know, sun's only up in the sky for so long, and they only allow the first day to be up for it. Ooh, the little interior. So there's the mat. What is this? It's like Europe. Maybe. Can't tell. Monica. Garden of Hope. Ooh, reference to the first Pikmin game, which was the uh, Forest of Hope, I believe. Hey, no me. A dog is behind me scratching the butt off. What the heck is that? It looks like. Looks like upside down here, maybe? I can't tell. A truck of Batani signal right now. Finding her is the highest priority. However, I am also very concerned about that cosmic track key is now missing. If I don't find that, 
the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kobe. The Kobe. Don't worry about that for now, dog. You starving. Your crew is missing. And, like, you gotta find food anyway before you can get back to Kopai. So, like, what you bitching about? It's gonna be very, very bad. Oh, you never find some in general. So, to the earlier day. I don't know what that means. You can land. Check in. Why? What is that? Do? Let's see. Like, whoa! I still can't shake this powerful feeling that there was something more to our class than we know. I felt almost as if some power from the planet's surface was manipulating our ship. Oh! Whoa, that's quite a twist there. Especially with that data file, maybe Olimar is back on this planet and he's stuck, or someone else is. Someone not as nice. Ooh, I guess we'll just have to find out on day two in the next part. So, adios amigos, stay spicy.